Hey guys, it's uh, it's Woody, it's Tokyo, it's day 7. Um, I'm actually recording today on my iPad because I think that the iPad has a little bit better quality than MacBook, but uh, I don't feel like doing the research, so let's give this a test. Um, fortunately, I, I'm, I'm sick again, uh, and it's like it got worse. So yesterday I, uh, I was feeling a lot better, and I thought that I hit its apex, and I went and trained and then, uh, which I had, like, I had a great training. I, I didn't uh, really feel up to it. But, uh, you know, I consciously made the decision that, uh, you know, I'm just going to take it easy. And I actually wound up having uh, one of the best uh, rolling sessions I've had in a long time. And I think there might be a connection between, like, trying to just uh, take it easy and, and letting uh, the technique happen as opposed to uh, trying to, like, you know, muscle your way through it. it sounds kind of obvious, but, you know, it's the obvious things that, you know, tend to take a long time to understand. Um, you know, what, <laughs> speaking of obvious things, uh, one thing that's really, you know, interesting about uh, Japan, I wanted to point out, and I've been meaning to point point this out for, for a while now, is um, Coke. So, uh, you know, you can get Coke, of course, over here. This is a can of Coke that I bought across the street from uh, the, my apartment. And, uh, you know, it's just like Coke. Except for one thing, it does not have uh, high fructose corn syrup in it. Um, high fructose corn syrup is banned in Japan, um, which is interesting because that's where it was created, um, invented. So, uh, but I'm gonna open it up. Ah. Open this bad boy up. And take a sip. Mmm. And when you take a sip, that's delicious. When you take a sip of a Coke that is actually sweetened the way that it used to be, you start to realize, like, oh, that's the good stuff. But also, like, this is why it's across, you know, the world, why it's drank by kings and paupers, you know. It's a glue that binds us all together. Um, and it's it's really delicious, um, you know, in, in America. Like, I can even, this one thing, I take a sip. Like, I, I, there's nothing now. There's nothing. There's no, there's no... Uh, taste there's no there's no coke it's gone now right it's like uh like when you uh eat a piece of anything that's like it, it it's just like you 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 taste it and it's gone there's no stickiness there's no like or, or anything like that it's it's just it's just coke it's just liquid uh, and it has some sugar in it, uh, probably similar, I hate to say it, but similar to like juice. Even the uh, texture is different. So um, that's kind of that's kind of interesting. And uh, it actually, it only costs, uh, that can uh, cost a uh, dollar. So, uh, which leads me to the second thing uh, I just wanted to mention about Japan is uh, the expense. A lot of people talk about Japan being expensive. It actually isn't. Um, you know, when I, uh, yesterday, after uh, training, I went to... Uh, Mini Ioma and uh, and went to a store called Original Fake, which is Cause. Uh, Cause is a New York illustrator who uh, has his own clothing line, but the store is actually here in Tokyo. So I went and bought some gifts for people, and um, you know they're they're business associates of mine. So I put it on my business credit card. Um, but I was thinking to myself, I was like, I probably should have just bought it in cash because when I purchased the the yen that I have, I purchased it when it was sixty cents to a dollar. So I actually. Um, was able to get more yen for my money, and you know now uh, you know one hundred yen is equal to one dollar um, right now. So you know it's about equal, and the cost of stuff is actually relatively inexpensive. I spend two dollars uh, traveling uh, a day. Um, I spend you know um, probably ten to fifteen dollars for food. Um, and, and, and then, you know, I have gifts and stuff, which I've probably spent and collected maybe $200 on. And I've, I've pre almost got everybody gifts now, gifts now. So, uh, I really haven't spent that much money. I'm staying in, a, uh, I rented an apartment, um, which costs less than my apartment back in New York. And, uh, my flight was, was, a you know, was a little bit expensive, but it's the same amount uh, you know, to, uh, to Tokyo as it is to, say, France, which is actually extremely expensive. Um, you will get, 
well, you know, it's something like, you know, you, you get half a euro for a dollar twenty-five. I mean, it's, it was crazy. The, the last time I went, I'm not sure now because they, you know, they've had some hits, but it's still incredibly expensive uh, to be in France and to travel there and to, you know, just have hotels and stuff like that. So, but uh, yeah, the train is going good, and I wish that, uh, you know, I could do it. I could do it a little bit more, but I'm gonna give. Uh, I'm going to give this cold like another, I'm going to give it today and over the weekend to just kind of like go away. I woke up last night just hacking my brains out and just wasn't able to sleep very well. So last year I uh, had something similar and I kept trying to go back training and I kept getting sicker and sicker until eventually, you know, I had to put on some, some meds to prevent pneumonia. So I just want to make sure that that doesn't happen. This is the last thing I fucking need, but whatever. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to move um, all the, the work and stuff that, that I want to do and just kind of pack it into the next few days. So I'm just going to like hang out at the, at the, uh, the apartment and, and work and uh, run around. I already, you know, I went for a walk and stuff like that this morning and then, uh, you know, take a, what, what I like to call a flexible approach, um, you know, which is something that happens a lot in freelance is that you know, you're not really sure what your schedule is going to be, so you take advantage of the times when you're slow. So there'll be certain times when, say, I'll train twice a day because, um, you know, work's a little slow or, you know, work's really busy and I'll have to wake up early, work, and then work through the day and then work in the, into the evening. So, uh, you know, it's all dependent on, on what's happening at that time. And right now, I'd rather just, you know, get some rest and, and uh, take knock this cold out. So, uh, as you can see, I'm already, like, my mind is, like, fuzzy. So, uh, take some time, knock it out, and then just get some of the other stuff I want to do out of the way. So, yep. Yeah, not too much going on. Deuces. Yo, this is Woody. Um, hopefully you can hear me. It's, like, getting ready to, uh... I would say, like, it's sleeting right now. It's, like, 35 degrees. You see people over behind me, like, they're all starting to freak out. Starting to run. You can see, like, how the wind's picking up. The wind's starting to blow really fast. Um, yeah. It's kind of, kind of interesting. Well, look at that. I, I, cool. All right. <laughs>